our Lord. Hallelujah. Good morning, my dear friends in Christ. We begin this Sunday reflection in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Today is the 31st Sunday in Ordinary Time, year A. And we thank God for this first Sunday in the month of November 2020. Thank you, Jesus. It is a great privilege for us to see this 2020 November. And we return all the glory back to God. This year, this November 2020 will be a month of favor. Amen. It will be a month of God's protection to everyone in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Our Bible reading for today is from the Gospel of Matthew chapter 23 from verse 1 to 12. We shall be considering the topic, Humble Yourself. Our Lord Jesus Christ in this passage speaks about the attitude of the Pharisees and other leaders of religion in particular. Humble yourself. They prefer to be seen displaying their power, displaying their authority and influence. They do things so that men can see them. Their dresses are loud and they want to be recognized especially at ceremonies. In short, they like to show off. We are commanded to be humble and not to follow the examples of the Pharisees. Many of us today will not be happy if we are invited to attend a ceremony and when we get there, the MC did not recognize us personally and call us by our name. Some will even take offense when they are not quickly called to the high table. Or you make a, you then make a mistake by not calling the person the title, Dr. Mrs., Dr. Professor, or whatever. These are not signs of humility. There are people who are also leaders who get offended because they think their followers are not showing them enough respect and recognition. The Lord is talking to us today to humble yourself. You hear things like, don't you know who I am? Don't you know that I'm, I am your leader? Or as some husbands proudly this, this declare, don't you know that I am the head of this family? Statements like this are signs of arrogance. They are signs of arrogance. They are not humility. Leaders are servants because even when we recognize Jesus Christ as our Lord, he says he has come to serve. He is humility personified. Jesus is humility personified. To be humble may even involve not insisting on our rights sometimes. Child of God, you mustn't claim your rights at some certain places. You mustn't. Just allow things to be because of God, because of who you are, because you're humble. Just let it be. Don't make it a noise. Don't, make, don't create a sin. They just called me. They didn't even recognize me. They didn't call me by my name. Please, just let things be. The Lord is talking to you. Be humble. Humble yourself. It may mean giving preference to others and stooping low for the sake of God. Hear me again. The Lord is talking to you to give preference to others and stoop low for the sake of God Almighty. For the sake of God's kingdom. This may not be easy, humanly speaking, but it is possible with God's help and grace. We pray for God's grace. Today, may God give you that grace to be able to humble yourself, to be able to humble yourself no matter where you find yourself. Do you want to be humble like our master Jesus Christ? Make up your mind and submit yourself, your will to his words. I pray today that the grace to be humble will rest upon you right now through Christ our Lord. Amen. Humble yourself. No matter who you are, God knows you. God has recognized you. God has lifted you up. But still, for the sake of this God, you are nothing before God. Humble yourself and he will lift you up. Today's reading say, do not exalt yourself. Humble yourself and God will exalt you. May the Lord help us. May the Lord give us the grace to humble ourselves. And the Lord will exalt us in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 
and amen. Happy new month and may this month of November be a fruitful one for all of us through Christ our Lord. Amen. You are blessed. Remember to stay safe. Remember to be vigilant. God's protection is upon you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, Jesus.